Bayek. It has been too long. Flavius is dead. I have gone to shit to get our son out of the Duat. Him was at peace. May he walk in the field of reeds. I head to Rome too. Rome? You still entertain folly with these ambitions? I have made mistakes. You have made mistakes. Aya? You waste your energy. Ah. You are the famous Magi. Thanos never ceases to speak of your exploits. I have assembled a group. This is Brutus and Cassius, our Roman brothers. We're going to cut these bastards down from across the seas. Septimius and Caesar. The order is no longer an Egyptian problem only. Does Cleopatra still rule? There is no ruler in Egypt. Plunged into the will of various tyrants. Our queen has abandoned us for Rome. Nothing has changed here. Memphis is overrun by the Order. Aya, we need you. Ended like this. Aya, that cursed Mark's fear should stay hidden forever. Cause so much pain. Our victories have multiplied, our bond not so. We could never have been. Everything has told us our love is impossible. You are right. Something bigger has called us. But our love lives in the Duat. Only now we are letting go. Let the gods decide. The gods are dead. We 
must sacrifice our personal lives for the greater good. All this darkness was for a reason. I was wrong to be so reckless in public without killing. We must work in the shadows. Egypt has fallen. Greece also. And Rome will fall too. All will fall to the creed, yet no one will know. When we assassinate, we assassinate only those who deserve it. The few sick souls who try to control us. But they will never know who we are. Cold, calculated, poets of the kill. I am fine with this. I am not a father anymore. I am not a husband. I am not a Medjay. I am a hidden one. Yes. We are the hidden ones. We sharpen our blades, and pull what hope is left from this foul earth. Good, Bayek of Siwa. What are you of now? A new creed. Ours is finished. Those don't need to be your last words. Who the fuck are you? Does the name William Miles ring a bell? Assassin? Then you know who I am. We, the Assassins, have been watching you. It's unusual for an Abstergo employee to take an interest in a country's revolution. You're not wrong there. We know about your work with the Animus. Astounding what you and Deanna were up to. D. They played you, didn't they? Sophia Ricken made you so many promises. Enough! We're not talking about her. Sure. Plenty of other subjects to cover on our ride to Alexandria. Don't assume I'm going anywhere with you. Well, let's look at your options. You can come with me, or you can stay here and do the dance of death again and again until you make a mistake. They only need you to make one. There's no going back to your old life, Layla. I never planned to. But you'd finally be able to work on the Animus Project. Our version of it. And with us, you'd always have the freedom to do things your way. Fine. Let's do this. That doesn't mean I'm on your side. Good enough.
So long, and thanks for all the fish, Berkeley. March 21st, 2006. The day Layla Hassan drops out of college. That's right, Professor Moore. I'm not finishing that Jane Eyre paper. I got a job, and I'm headed to Philly next week. This whole classroom thing, it's not for me. Mom and Dad are freaking out, but they'll accept it. I'll be working towards something real, making real money, and I'll be closer to home. Not that I'll visit any more often. 
Sophia promised there would always be a place for me at Absurgo, as long as I show them what I can do with a circuit board and a pair of pliers. Sure, I'll have to work my way up to a place on her special project, but that doesn't matter. It won't be long before she or her father, Mr. Alan Ricken, notices what I'm capable of and asks for my help on the Animus. I swear, I get more done reading the latest copy of Wired on the toilet than the rest of the guys do all day in the lab. I mean, the body band? Really? If people can't take a walk on their own, they aren't going to listen to a watch that tells them to do it either. This is all so pointless. I should just go back to... Wait. That's probably what the body band would tell me to do. What I should do is build something that will simultaneously blow people's minds and the doors off the Animus Project. Nothing at Absurgo Fitness is going to be big enough for that. I'm bored as hell. But there's nothing like boredom to stimulate creativity. Yep. I think the body band needs a little adjustment to its language processing program. The right decision always feels like home. My stuff's the same. My locker smells the same. It's like I never left. But I did. And I can never unlearn what I know now. How will it change my work at the Historical Research Division? Hard to say. All I know is that it will. Our dog booked us a lunch. Nothing fancy. She wanted me to meet Deanna Geary, my new medical officer. She looks like she was born in the middle of a cornfield, but she seems okay. I can't believe she left homemade cookies on my desk. I don't know why I told her about getting stood up last weekend. I never talk about personal stuff at work. At least it seems like I can trust her. You need that to stay alive in the field. Too bad most of Abstergo's tactical units don't consider trust a priority. Aho, the portable animus. No mention in the official credits, but all those emails, all those middle-of-the-night phone calls from Madrid, there's a lot of me in there. Sophia, if I'd known you just wanted to strip mine my brain and leave me in the dark, I never would have followed you. Go away! There's no candy here! Nothing in life is ever free. Ever. The Animus. I can tell. I know it wouldn't have worked without my advice. Just look how they did the heat sink. The VRMs, the high amperage rating by transistor. It was me who told them it would offset failure of the... What's this? Hello there, DNA reader module. Are you ringing my doorbell? Maybe there's some candy here after all. I've come to the conclusion that Sophia is shit at hiring staff. The entire Madrid facility. Ugh. How do they not see it? It would be so easy. You just have to parse the genetic memory input and work from smaller data pools. You could even process incomplete samples and still create a reliable model for high levels of synchronization. The reader module and the decryption software would need an update, but it's doable. Madrid's probably congratulating themselves just for getting this far. Meanwhile, I'm partying with some congealed veggie curry, three plasma screens, a disassembled animus, and Raw Victoria's debut album on loop. Sahetic. Dee will be mad when she sees how I use Milton's DNA, but what did she expect when she asked me for help? I needed someone's genetic profile to test the Animus, and, well, his was right there. All in the name of science. I like morning briefings. They're short, minimal nonsense, and they have free coffee. No downtime this week. They're putting me and Dee on a plane to Alexandria two days from now. I don't get why Hathaway is in such a rush. We're being deployed to extract an artifact. If it were a person of interest, the push would make more sense. A person could be halfway across the world in a couple of hours. But an artifact that's been sitting around for 2,000 years, it's not going anywhere. An artifact of high interest. Heard that before. It always ends up being some crappy pottery shard or half an old book. My animus runs on DNA, not tableware. It'll be strange visiting Egypt for the first time since 2013. Back then I went looking for my roots, and found trouble instead. It's good that Dee's coming. She always keeps me from doing anything too stupid.
Turns out the artifact of high interest is also a person of interest. A mummy. And a golden opportunity. I've informed Dee of some changes I'm making to our assignment parameters. She acted mad, but I know she's eager to see my animus field tested. Abstergo won't mind. Well, they would if they found out, but they won't. <laughs> Hathaway's intel was a disaster. They have no idea what's going on with this extraction. Field tech is fun and all, but that's not why I left Berkeley. If the Animus lets me ride DNA this old, if the reader can model the missing codons and extrapolate the genetic memories that aren't mine, Sophia would lose her... Abstergo. Abstergo will come to me on their hands and knees. My name will be right up there with Warren Vidix. Anameta Kidaminda. Too bad the Madrid facility got blown up. But I bet they'll build a new one soon. This one will be in Philly, and its lead engineer will be Leila Hassan. The way to avoid this jerk is to get back in the Animus. That for Foxidas? A gift? No. It's a relic. I don't want to talk about it, Demastis. Isn't that Bayex? Let me have it. I'll give it to Foxidas myself. He loves these things. I'll kill you. How about that? I'm in no mood for compromise today. Past Neapolis in the crack of morning. With strong wind, you'll be standing in Rome's forum in uh, two days' time. It's over between you and Bayek, eh? I can feel. No decision is easy. But you are a chosen one. And now you are free! <laughs> like me! So begins a new day. Guard entirely. We should assume they are expecting us. You sound thrilled about it. Eager, old man. Eager to be done with this scum. 
and move on to the next pile of scum. Infinite scum! Such is the world we live in! Flares will summon their navy. Prepare yourselves! Here they come. Forward, men! Litter the sea with their shattered hulls. Tricors! about us when this day is out. If that happens, Foxy Dust, I will wear seaweed like a siren and sing them myself. I will hold you to that. Believe me, you would be sorry. Now let's end this. <laughs> Another town! There is only one more left for the abyss. They set fire ships upon us! Gods. Our fleet is too tightly formed. They'll hit us! We are overwhelmed! Big hell ships are too many! We must sink them before they reach us! They're too much if they strike us! Take them down! Fire ships left! Fire ships close! By the gods, they're everywhere! of Olympus! No, no! It's Brutus and Cassius! Look! And our catapult with them! Put them to use! Please! Hey! Don't fear this beast! He's a great and girthy whale! But he'll dance around their boat like Mino did a pod! You weren't a poet in your youth, were you, Foxidas? Oh, ho, ho! I should have been, I think! A philosopher, too! Ah, what we should have been! A million things that I do. You must write your memoirs one day. I may just do. And if you'll promise to stick one copy into the library, I'll let you if you leave on. Surely this chapter will be the most widely read of all. Speed up! Need more speed! Let it rain! Turn you demons into the sea! Hey, you sluggers! 
up with the rest! Today, we sail together! What port are you taking us to? There's a town called Antium I'd like to try. Lots of merchants sail in and out of there. Should be safe for you. From there, it's a half day's ride to Rome. It is only a matter of days before Caesar will officially become a tyrant. There he is. People love you, Caesar. You're a god. The Senate will not bow so easily. That parliament of clucking heads. Let me be your wolf. Nothing until I get this in Caesar is the king of the order. Caesar is the father of understanding. You and Caesar will die. You are meddling with the affairs of the order. The order is greater than Rome. Go back to Egypt with the rest of the liars and slaves. You make me understand when murder is just. I command armies. I control the greatness. I will erase your order from the annals. Kneel to Caesar. Kneel to Rome! Feels good to decide to win us. We are the writers of history! Caesar will follow you to oblivion. Your son paid himself when he saw the knife. I will feed your heart to vultures. You have no honor! You stole everything from me! I am a Gabinian. I thought you would scurry away, little one. You should have taken your chance to drop off the map. Gladius isn't here to save you this time, Septimius. No Roman deals will be made. Damn you, Lupa. My son's heart. For your life. Was revenge everything you hoped? You and the Medjai shall drench the sheets with your sweat tonight. <laughs> this stuff. With the order. I served them and your beloved Egypt. And I'll be rewarded in the afterlife. An eternity of drinking and whoring with my brothers. The only thing that waits for you is oblivion. For your name, your order, and the rotting corpses of your Cavignani. I bet devour your fetid heart. Caesar must be in the Curia, with the rest of the Senate. This is crawling with soldiers.
I ask only this, that you join with me in building a new Rome. A Rome with you as king? Let Caesar speak! We want a Rome that offers justice, peace and land to all its citizens, not just the privileged few. You are just as privileged as I. I am not dictator for life. An honor bestowed upon me by the people of Rome. Would you have me refuse such a gift? We would have you think of Rome before yourself. I will unite the Republic. Senatus Populusque Romanus. For the Senate and the people of Rome. Republic? You speak of Republic while coveting a crown? Marcus Antonius offered me the crown at the Lupercalia festival. I refused it. And what a pity play it was. You don't need a crown. They have made you a god! Mark me, Gaius Cassius Longinus. Support me in my dreams for Rome, and old divisions will be forgotten. Senators, the war is over! The drums of dissent have reached a fever pitch. Rome will not be a monarchy again. It seems Brutus would start a revolution. But against what, my friend? We desire the same things. How can you say that when you have raised yourself so far above the people? I speak for the people. You have seized the rights of the citizenry. No. The people infused with fear and blinded by patriotism offered up all of their rights to their leader and did it gladly so. Who made you leader of Rome? The eternal city herself. Caesar will not be reasoned with. Senators, we still have a voice in this forum. I will hear your complaints. Caesar deigns to listen. Romans rejoice.
dead, you are free now! Do I know you? You who strikes from the shadows. The same fate will come to all despots. In the end, it is impossible not to become what others believe you are. And I was a god! There is a new creed now. Yeah! Rome is eternal! She will never fall to you or your kind. Freedom is not given, Caesar. It is taken. Requiescat in pace, Caesar. Do you know what you've done? Caesarian would have sat on the throne of Rome. Listen to the cries in the streets. They call you a dead tyrant's whore. I am still your queen. You are a queen of liars and snakes. I fought for you for five years. Our people worshipped you. Apollodorus died for you, for Egypt. For Egypt? I am Egypt! Then be the ruler our people deserve. Or nothing will save you from my blade across your throat. You are the last of the pharaohs. Bayek. Caesar has been assassinated. Septimius is also dead. I have founded a bureau in the middle of Rome. Yet, no one knows of our existence. Like a moon, we are the Hidden Ones. I believe in you. The irony of freedom. We are free of each other, yet it brings me no happiness. We must move forward. Remain in our tempest of blood poetry. Despite it all, we dance, and they die. From darkness we have come, and in darkness we shall stay. Humans are not meant to last forever. But this creed will. The Creed is the only immortal thing in the world. Go home. You're free. I don't want to go home by myself. I'm scared. Should we take him to the Bureau? No. I'll take you home. Let nothing grieve you beyond measure. For your life is short and time will claim its toll. But I am no longer who I was. 
I have renounced all love I once had. I have renounced Aya. I have killed Aya. I am now the Hidden One, known as Amunet. May your victories multiply. Come.